Hey everybody, this is Hadrian. Thanks for watching. I wanted to record a quick half episode on a topic that uh, was not requested by anybody, but I was watching the last episode of Civ 5 of the tutorial that went live, and I just realized this was worth commenting on because it's something that can get confusing later in the game. So, in the last episode, I've actually loaded up a save prior to when this happened, but in the last episode, I had this Ironclad fire on Krakow. I think it was this Ironclad. It was one of my Ironclads fired on Krakow. And then Krakow fired back, and I was like, why did that happen? I don't understand, or something like that. Well, I do understand why it happened. It's something that uh, gets confusing later in the game, and frankly, I don't do a lot of naval combat in Civ Five, but I totally get why it happened, and explaining it is actually something that I think a lot of people will appreciate. So... For those of you who have been playing Civ 5 for a while, or just watching the tutorial from the beginning, or both, you know that early on in the game, we had really two types of units that were running around all over the place. We had warriors, which are melee units, and we had archers, which are ranged units. Now, melee units persist throughout the game, as do ranged units, like archers. And the difference between the two, aside from just the weapon that they use, is that when you go into battle with a melee unit, both sides will do damage to each other. When you rush into battle, whether you're the one attacking or defending, you'll both do damage to each other. Ranged units attack from afar. So you can use archers, for instance, to deal damage to a city or another unit without the archer themselves taking damage. Where the confusion in the later game comes in is that, of course, at some point in time, everyone puts away their swords. Even the melee units, for instance, Great War Infantry, have guns. Are they still melee units? Yes, they are. Combat still happens the same way in that damage is dealt mutually. A ranged unit is the Gatling gun. This is the current evolution of the archer. The Gatling gun, as you've seen at a few points, can fire on enemy units or cities and not take damage in return because they're ranged just like archers were it's just confusing because now now everyone has a gun so units behave differently so that's what happened with the ironclad navy units have the same distinction okay ironclad the ironclad rather is a melee naval unit so that was a melee that happened there, and so that's why there was an exchange of fire. If I had had, for instance, this frigate, which, notice, has a ranged attack, firing on Krakow from one or two tiles away, Krakow would not have fired back. Because, again, this is a ranged ship. It does, there's no exchange of fire. So that's the distinction. And I'll just take a closer look at the full build list so that you can have a full idea of the distinctions here. So, submarines, they're ranged. Ironclads, not ranged. Privateer, not ranged. Frigate, ranged. And then, of course, pretty soon we'll have access to the battleships, and we'll go over that possibly in a future episode that I record now that I've recorded this one explaining this. But maybe it's not necessary. Should be pretty clear now. I hope that makes sense. I know it is confusing, but just understanding that there is a distinction on land and sea between melee units and ranged units, even when guns are involved and there's not even technically a melee happening, will save you a, just a bunch of headaches when you are fighting certain battles and you're not understanding why in certain cases cities fire back and in certain cases they don't. Units fire back in certain cases and in certain cases they don't. That's why. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I probably won't spend any more time commenting on this particular topic. So uh, any clarifications that are needed, I will try my best to address them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next episode.